Greetings from Los Angeles, everyone. The Lakers have a Western Conference contest on their hands as they play this one here at the Staples Center. Kevin Harmon here with Clark Hill as we bring you the NBA on 2K Sports. Now, a look at Dallas' starting lineup. Derek Harper is out there with Finley. Then there's Willie Green and Bradley. And for the Lakers, we've got Jerome Kersey and Campbell. One thing that obviously stands out for Dallas Park with 27 road wins, which was number one in the NBA last season. What a great road record. Only 14 losses away from home. Extremely impressive and a big improvement from the year before as well, Kevin. They were sub-500 on the road in 09. But last year, they played like every court was their home court. Knocked loose. Just five to shoot. Here's Green. And Shaquille O'Neal pulls it down. That turnaround by the Mavericks you were just talking about, it put them, Clark, back atop the Western standing. Certainly, and, and just think about those numbers. I mean, there are a lot of teams that didn't come close to 27 wins the whole season, and the Mavs got that number just on the road. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Very much so. Let's swing it over to Doris Burke. Well, guys, as you know, over the last few years, Kobe Bryant has taken on the moniker the Black Mamba. He said, I'm a thrill seeker. I learned a great deal from animals, how they behave, and how they hunt. The Black Mamba was one that really caught my attention and fascinated me. And guys, the Black Mamba, known for being big, fast, fierce, and lethal, sounds like a pretty good moniker for a player like Kobe Bryant, gentlemen. He is lethal. <laughs> Thanks, Doris. That one is off. The Lakers making a switch here. And the second free throw, good. Here's Jones. And he flushes it through. Right slam cam with the replay. Boy, when you run the fast break correctly, it's a thing of beauty. Here's Harper. Number five. Buries it from deep. For a player of his skill, it's going to take a lot better defense than that. And the Lakers have possession. And Shaq backs down. With a wide open look. And again, it's the Lakers. Here's Harper. Now Green. Get the teardrop and two free throws coming up as the whistle blows. He barely missed that one. That free throw, no good. He hits the second from the line. Here's Jones. Behind the arc. Shots good. Got an open look out there in transition and did not hesitate. That's a nice shot. Here's Harper. Shot misses. And some great offensive action to get this one underway in the first. Lakers on top, up four. They're making the extra pass and finding guys for open looks. I love the discipline they've shown in their offense so far. A closely contested game here at the start of the second quarter. Here's Fisher. One thing Clark, you always know about coming into the Staples Center. This is always a tough venue to come into as a visit. Well, without question, 34 wins here for the Lakers last year, Kevin. Uh, this is always a tough building to play in because the team that is the home team here is usually pretty good. <laughs> They've got one of the best players in the history of the league in Kobe Bryant. On the court for the Mavericks. Finley is out there with Derek Harper. Then there's Willie Green and Brett. From the sideline, let's catch up with Doris Burke. Well, Kevin, the Lakers limped down the stretch in last year's regular season. The wise Derek Fisher said they might have gotten ahead of themselves. He said all season it's been about repeating as champions. At times, the natural adrenaline that comes from playing in big games, the passion hasn't been there for us. Fortunately, the challenge of the playoffs awakened their competitive fire, and they were able to earn another title. Guys? They sure did finish strong, dialing it up when it mattered most. Thanks, Doris. 
and playing at Staples with all the high-profile stars in the stands. You've played in Los Angeles. Does it add a little pressure, you think, for visiting teams? You know, I don't think it adds pressure. I think it's enjoyable. When you go on the road and you're playing a team like the Lakers in their building and you see some of the kinds of folks that are coming to watch their team, the Lakers, but by virtue, they're watching you as well, so it's an opportunity to perform in front of some folks that are celebrities that enjoy basketball. So I think it's exciting. It's kind of like going to New York City. It's the same type of feeling when you're a visiting player. You know it's going to be tough. You know the odds are against you, but what better place to play than one of those places? But for rookies, it may be a different thing. <laughs> Your eyes might be a little yeah, bit wide. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think you probably are right on that one. Raises up, and it's Dallas with another. Well, this offense is percolating right now. I mean, it's fun to watch. They're really into things. I mean, they're moving the ball. They're shooting a high percentage. Over 60%, in fact. And here's Jones for three. And again, the Lakers, no good. The clock runs out, and we're heading to halftime. Mavericks lead by two. Halftime at Staples Center. In a close one, I'm Damon Bruce. Welcome to the HP Halftime Show. The Mavericks putting up one heck of a fight. They've been in an incredible rhythm offensively. If you're wondering why it's dark in the gym, they've shot the lights out. A nice contribution by Willie Green. Lighten up that scoreboard. He's making it ring like a pinball machine. Not to be outdone, the Lakers also giving it their all. They've been aggressively attacking the rack, getting a lot of points right at the rim. They've gotten some great minutes out of Shaquille O'Neal. Lighten up that scoreboard, he's making it ring like a pinball machine. And that's it for now. We'll send you back out to the second half. Thanks so much for watching the HP Halftime Report. Well, it's been a tight game as we enter the second half. Both teams going at it. And the Lakers have possession. Trailing by two. That's the Laker five. Baseline jumper. Here's Kersey. The Mavericks leading. Now Harper. Shot clock at five. The shot is off. And the Lakers go with it the other way. You know, one of the stories last season, Clark, in the playoffs for the Lakers was after that early scare to the Thunder of Oklahoma City in the first round, the Lakers really turned it up in the playoffs. In fact, it was that game five. They kind of rebooted. They kind of found themselves. Yeah, they certainly did. Sometimes you have to have your back against the wall. You've got to go through that crucible of almost losing an important game in the playoffs to be able to get your second win and to gain that extra um, wave of confidence. And that's kind of what happened with the Lakers. I mean, anytime you face a team like the Thunder that has the leading score in the league in Kevin Durant, you know it's not going to be easy. And the Lakers saw that to be true, and yet they were able to work through that. Thunder had those young legs. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of confidence yes. and an unbelievable building. They didn't that, blink. They no, did not blink. Not at all. They were relishing the opportunity, thrilled to be in the playoffs, but they felt like they could beat not only play with the Lakers, they felt like they could beat the Lakers, Kevin. Here's Finley. Here's Green. Cuts down the open jump. Green's got five now. That's exactly what a coach wants him to get a shot, Kevin. Right there from mid-range. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Here's Shaq. Here's Van Exel. And again, no good by the Lakers. Here, they'll want to hold for one shot. Pass to Green. We've reached the end of the third quarter in what's been an exciting game so far to watch. And we'll get back to the action right after this. Let's get rolling in the fourth. Let's go to our sideline reporter, Doris Burke, for the Sprite Spark Report. Doris? Thanks, Kevin. It's the Mavericks with the spark of the game with that big push we saw. They jumped out early with a big run in the first period, and they've protected that lead since, guys. Great, Doris. That big scoring run being a difference maker, Clark, in this game. Well, it often comes in spurts, Kevin. Spurtability is what I call it, and that's what happened today.
Here's Harper. On the floor for Dallas, starting the fourth quarter here. We've got Willie Green. Finley's out there with Derek Harper and Brett. Green kicks to Finley. Defended by Jones. Just four to shoot. And Finley gets it to go. When he gets it going like this, you've got to double team it. That's your only hope. Back to Shaq. Here's Ori. The shot is off. Now the Mavericks take it the other way. Now Finley. To the inside. It's tipped. And Kev, that's only his first giveaway for the game. Mm. Here's Shaq. Picks it down. Here's Harper. 107 left to the fourth. Grant backs it out. Defended by Shaq. Takes it up. And Finley gets it to go. And the Mavericks lead by eight. So it's the Lakers now. Eight point game. Back to O'Neal from 11 feet away. Over Finley. Shaq's shot is off. He's a beast in there, Kevin. But that time the defense got the best of it. And here's Jones. Kevin, not much they can do right now. Time is not on their side. Or guarded by Green. Uncovered. Well, for the Mavericks, they can just run out the clock. Right side, Harper. Here's Ori. It bounces out of bounds after the shot. Here's Finley. Good if it goes. Off target. So we see the Mavericks get the win here. Both teams played well, but these guys had the edge. Yeah, I think so. They were just steak knife sharp. Very on top of their game here. Well said. And that'll do it for Clark Kellogg and the rest of the 2K Sports crew. This is Kevin Harlan saying so long and thanks for joining us as we leave you with the Jordan Brand Player of the Game.